Yet another Desmos question. We have a system of equations. We're being asked basically for the points of intersection. Now we're going to, have to sort through those points, but there's no reason to do algebra here. Don't, don't waste your time. There's no reason. I know that it's not hard if you know how to do algebra, but gosh, just make your life easy. Here it is. I've already put them in for us. You can see that we've got some points of intersection. Let me center them. And uh, we can tap them. And we have negative 9, 0, and negative 6, 3. So now we have to pay attention to what we want, right? Because uh, I guess only one number in all of that appears here, right? So actually, maybe this isn't a problem at all. But yeah, negative 6 is the only one that's there. That's the answer. And it makes sense because there are two possible values of x. They are negative 6 and negative 9, right? The x coordinates of both of those points. Um, but there you go. That's it. That's, that's all we have to do is, you know, look at the point and tap it. Um, now, I know what they're doing, though. They are hoping that you fall for this trap. I'm not going to do the algebra, but if we were to do it, we would have to, you know, merge these two equations together, then get it equal to zero because it's a quadratic, and then factor. And when you factor, what are the factors going to be that give us these two solutions, these two x uh, uh, points of intersection? They're going to be x plus 6 and x plus 9. So they're hoping that you're like, ah, 9 is bigger than 6. So there you go. That's choice C. So this is why algebra is so risky is if you have one little slip up, one thing gets past you, that's it. The answer that you you think it's going to be, the wrong answer is going to be there and, and you'll never know because you will pick choice C confidently like, ah, I solved this equation. I did all the algebra. I, I'm smart. But nope, the SAT is smarter. They're going to get you. So every time you're looking at a question, your decision is always, what's going to guarantee me this question right? So maybe that is algebra sometimes. But we're in the hard module. Just do Desmos. There's no chance of error here other than entering the things wrong. And if you just look, you won't enter them wrong. So guarantee yourself the points. Move on. We're going to get to some hard stuff where you really need the time and the brain power to solve them. And Desmos might not be able to help us. Take advantage of when it does.